Introduction to Lab 14, Semiconductor Memory. In this video, we'll explore the concept of memory and the different types you will encounter in this class. Memory is a type of circuit used to store electronic data. Memory cells are tiny circuits existing in a larger chip that store one bit of binary data each. The chips that exist in the multi-SIM platform are able to store thousands of bits worth of data. Memory chips can usually read and write. Writing is a process where data is stored in groups of memory cells called words. Words consist of bits to the power of 2, i.e. 2, 4, 8, 16 bits, etc. Each word has a memory address which acts like a marker so that they can be identified when they need to be read. When a chip reads, it recalls the data stored in a word. There are increasing technologies and methods that exist to reduce the time needed to read data. For example, the memory in CDs can only be read in the order in which it was written. Even though this process takes a matter of nanoseconds, others are even more efficient. Some of the newer technologies include RAM, random access memory, which can be both written, read, and the memory accessed in any order. Some forms of semiconductor memory can only be read and not written. These are known as read-only memory, or ROM. Some examples of ROMs are PROMs, programmable read-only memory, and EPROMs, electrically erasable programmable read-only memory. In this lab, you will explore the functions of a word generator and how these influence the functionality of RAM.